Hello everybody, Jay Boone down here at Emerald City Guitars and continuing our series from the vault. I have this amazing 1958 Gibson Les Paul Gold Top. So by 58, as we all know, Gibson started putting these PAFs into these Les Pauls. And that's, that's the secret weapon on these. For you guys that are really into bursts, the Les Paul standards and the sunburst finish between 1958 and 1960, the 57 and 58 gold tops are just super sleepers in terms of going head to head with any of the bursts, which pretty much come in at three times the cost. This is a very special gold top in that it was owned by many years by a guy named Paul Reed Smith, who as you all know, is the founder of PRS Guitars. And Paul's an amazing guy. We love Paul. He's been in the shop several times and he's a, just one of those magical guitar guys that we all know and love. And uh, there's a place in history for Paul Reed Smith for sure. And we respect his opinion on many things. And this was owned by Paul who purchased it some years ago, in his words, to do some research and developing for his guitar line using some of the classic Gibson guitars that were made famous by some of the greatest players of all time. In this package, you have a letter signed by Paul Reed Smith himself, stating that he was the owner of this and kind of what he applied his knowledge of this guitar to. So real cool history on this. What it all boils down to is this is an exceptional example handpicked by Paul Reed Smith himself to analyze, dissect, and to learn from. It also did some time on tour with Eric Johnson, who Paul lent this guitar to. Uh, we know Eric as well, and I've talked to Eric about this guitar, and he, uh, he gets kind of excited every time we mention it. So just a, a great example of this era of PAF Les Pauls from the late 50s. This guitar weighs eight pounds, 11 ounces, so it's just a super, great weight for a Les Paul. It just feels good in my hands. It's not heavy, but it has, it's weighted just enough to let you know that it's a real guitar and a, a special one at that. So I'll break this guitar down a little bit for you. So as I mentioned before, it's got the two original PAF pickups in it. You see the saddles on this original bridge are not original. So the saddles were changed out because basically I'm assuming they just wore out. So this tone potentiometer for the neck position has been replaced. Obviously, it was worn out and had to be replaced. Other than that, the other three pots are original. And at one time in its history, someone had put a different set of tuners on it. They reamed the holes to accommodate the replacement tuners. Those tuners have since been taken out. The holes were doweled, redrilled, and the original tuners are back in this guitar. This one here is a little bit bent on that G string but fully functional, stays in tune great. Just has a little bend on it, I'm gonna leave it like that. Flip this guy back over. The jack plate is a replacement. However, I have the original one in the case, in that case pocket there, the original case, by the way. And there's also the original strap for this guitar, a really old leather strap that I'm assuming the original guy got when he bought this guitar. It looks very old. So. Other than those little bits and pieces there, this guitar has been kept in original condition its whole life. It's just wonderfully aged. Playability is exceptional on this guitar. This guitar sounds just crazy good. These PAFs just scream. And you're gonna hear this guitar through this matchless King Cobra amp here, which we've been using on all our demos, by none other than Aaron Hebert, who's one of our favorite demo guys down here. Aaron does a great job. What else can I say? Brazilian Rosewood fretboard, Bound neck, totally intact. Uh, the inlays are in great shape. Frets, very, very playable in fine condition. We polished them up, conditioned that board. It looks awesome. Original knobs, tailpiece, pickup rings, pick guard, all original finish. Nice little green checking aging where the arm goes over the edge of the guitar. Very typical. A little bit of buckle rash on the back, so it's been played. It is a player structurally intact, for the most part in original condition. Just an amazing instrument. I can't tell you enough about this guitar, it's very special. So I'm gonna stop blabbering about one of my favorite guitars in the shop and I'm gonna put it in the capable hands of Aaron Hebert.
So there you have it, folks. My pick of the day, an original 1958 Paul Reed Smith owned Les Paul Gold Top with PAFs through the awesome Naturalist King Cobra. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you all next time.